Hey, New Hope. Today is a good day. The sun is shining and the temperatures are going up and that's exciting. God's mercy is new today for us and that's exciting and, and a great blessing that we have. Matthew chapter 5, Jesus is given the Sermon on the Mount and he uh, goes through the Beatitudes is what we know it. And I want to share with you one of them in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. He says, blessed are you if you hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you will be satisfied or they will be satisfied. And that verse has been sticking out to me this week that uh, I need to be someone that is truly hungering and thirsting for righteousness because I need to be continually filled and satisfied by only the things of God. So I encourage you to take time today to pray and spend time with God in his word. When you do that, you grow in your faith. You grow in your walk with the Lord. You gain a wisdom that is heavenly from him. And you also understand God's heart in every situation. So I encourage you, take time today to pray and spend time with him in his word. This week, we're calling the church to a time of prayer and fasting. And so the schedule is gonna be in the description below in this video, but I encourage you to take time and join us this week as we pray and we fast individually and corporately. Joel 1.14 says, announce a time of fasting. Call the people together for a solemn meeting. Bring the leaders and all the people of the land into the temple of the Lord your God and cry out to him there. Listen, this week is an important week as we come together to pray and to fast. We want to gain a heart of wisdom, gain uh, more of the Lord's heart in us, more of his spirit, more of his presence. And we want to do that not only individually, but corporately. So I encourage you to join us, to fast something. Maybe that is food, a meal. Uh, maybe that is social media or TV or something. You fill in the blank, but we're asking everyone to join us, no matter what age you are, to join us in prayer and fasting. This is going to be a powerful time, I believe it, with all of my heart. If you can't join us in person, we encourage you to still participate. Join us wherever you may be as we um, come together in prayer and fasting, whether remotely or in person. And so we're asking God for a fresh outpouring of his presence and his Holy Spirit. Would you join me as we pray and we seek God? God, we pray that you would pour out your spirit like never before. I pray that you would satisfy the desire in our heart as we hunger and thirst for righteousness. We hunger and thirst for more of you, more of your presence. Father, would you fill us individually, but would you fill our, our, us corporately, Lord, as a church, as a body of believers um, in our land and in our nation. God, we ask for you and your presence like never before. Jesus, do what only you can do. We trust you. We love you. In your powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Church, I believe God has a fresh outpouring for you and for our church corporately. So would you join us this week? Have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine.